What is up everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm John and if you guys have been following along for a little bit, you'll notice that in the videos we've been pretty busy lately doing a bunch of maintenance stuff, uh, kind of upgrade stuff and just a bunch of broken stuff and I've been fixing a lot of things on this Dodge Dakota lately but uh, I just want to kind of take this moment for this video to kind of give you guys and get you guys up to speed where we're at, where everything and you know what's going on with all the different projects and kind of give you guys i don't want to say so much of a behind the scenes but just get you guys up to speed on where all the projects are at and whatnot so first things first um if you guys haven't seen the last video i fixed and replaced the intermediate shaft on this and i did get the alignment so alignment's now done um i was gonna record it but honestly it was kind of a little bit boring i just went took the truck got it aligned now the wheels back straight and our wheels are straight because our intermediate shaft had the wheel sitting a little bit off and i actually got an alignment and they fixed the camber and caster and this thing actually drives really good now so i'm super happy with it there's no more chattering coming out of the wheel and it drives straight, tracks straight, and as good as it can possibly drive with these humongous wide Viper wheels on it since they're huge in the front. I think I have like a 275 or 285 wide in the front. And uh, it actually drives fairly well right now for a lower truck with those big uh, wheels and tires on it. So um, that's that aspect of it. I also wanted to update you guys on the exhaust part. So you guys know that I have a welder right there um, but we still have uh, Palmdale Express uh, Rad and Muffler helping us out with the exhaust setup on this truck. Jose over there has been helping us out with that stuff. And you guys know that last time we went there, we mocked up this little section. So what I was trying to do is have like a street and a race setup, uh, just one that would be a little bit louder for when we go to the track and you know a little bit more free flowing and whatnot. And then if we were just driving around street style we would have something that was a bit more tame for the street. So we built this little section just out of some used Ram two and a half inch resonators, the ones that are on a Dodge Ram fourth gen that go right at the back. That's what those guys are. We just cut the heat shield off one of them. You know, not the prettiest thing, but there's just, you know, free parts, spare parts, stuff that he had laying around that we were just testing out. But obviously you can see I removed it. For whatever reason, it made the truck a deeper tone, but it moved a ton of resonance and drone into the cab just with putting those two on there. So I had to actually take it off, even though it was a tiny bit, uh, I don't even want to say quieter, but it was just deeper. It actually made the drone absolutely insane. So right now we have the Hellcat resonators on the truck and I told you guys I'm going to be putting Hellcat mufflers as well. So we're doing Hellcat resonators, Hellcat mufflers, going to be complete Hellcat uh, system more or less. Well, the two, you know, the mufflers, the resonators, going to have that stuff. We're going to have to do all the piping, obviously different for this, but uh, I kind of learned this trick a little bit from Jose, or I don't know if I want to say learned it, but I'm just copying what he did, is he would throw on some of these mufflers onto the exhaust system, just kind of hold them up just to get a general idea of how it sounded. So I did that here. I'll start it up and show you guys the difference with them on just for fun. And then uh, we'll get into some other stuff. I have a bunch of parts over there for the Viper and the supercharger project, which I want to go over with you guys as well. Okay, so we'll start up the Dakota in just a second, but I did want to update you guys on the fan controller. So uh, you guys know that I installed that different fan controller the other day. And just when I went to drive it over to get the alignment and on the way back I noticed my temperature is climbing again and the included fake relay that came with with the second fan controller failed uh, I went through a quick process of elimination and I took the relay out of the Hayden fan controller plugged it in and all of a sudden my fan came back and it's working as usual so this uh, relay from the heavier duty wiring kit like I said, it's some sort of no-name relay. There's not any sort of name on it, just you know the diagram of what it is. That failed. So just keeping you guys up to date, keeping it honest with you guys. And before we move on from the Dakota, I'll talk a little bit more about it, I guess. I'm gonna leave it naturally aspirated for now. Uh, we will be eventually going back boost. I'm trying to debate whether to throw AC in it or not, just to make it a bit more of a daily type vehicle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Should I? Kind of make it just like a street truck and a daily truck or should we put the supercharger back on it at some point i kind of like the idea of just having a little cruiser truck and not trying to go full send because the way that i designed or did the intercooler the best intercooler solution i had to remove the ac condenser but i guess i could always reconfigure it or just run pro chargers 
uh, intercooler that goes on the bottom of the truck, which isn't as efficient, but it's still you know a possibility. So let me know what you guys think down below of all of that. Um, and then we're gonna get the tuning wrapped up. And then once the cool temperatures start coming in the fall and the winter, we'll go back to the drag strip, see what this thing runs with the cam and the intake um, and the tune and whatnot, and see what we can throw down before we actually put the supercharger on. So some of the stuff to come, let's start it up. I'll show you guys the difference in sound. And I know that it sounds a little bit different with mufflers at the end versus in the middle and whatnot. But regardless, you'll kind of get an idea of the overall quietness, but it does sound pretty good with that. Let's start it up. I'll show you guys. So hopefully you guys can tell a bit of a sound difference there. Uh, it's probably not gonna come through on that mic, honestly, the way that it does sound in person, but it does knock the edge off of it. And the way I wanted to build it, you guys, was put those in the middle and then have the rear section, like I said, have the race section so we can take on and off the resonators. So instead of just running the resonators, in the middle like we have right now we'll move those to the back of the vehicle put those in the center of the vehicle and um, i think it should be a good combination so that's that i think i'm done mostly talking about the dakota for now i do have some leds for you guys i'll let you guys know that i got these leds if you guys remember from my ram on my previous fourth gen that i had we did all of these leds in the interior and it made a huge difference so i'm gonna be doing those i got two different styles and kinds for you guys i'm gonna be testing out so let me know if you guys want to see that right away or how what the level of interest is for that because right now i just have just those kind of crusty blue lights like you can see there so we're gonna get rid of those and get the true white ones and the really bright ones in there let's talk about some viper stuff now so we're still supercharging the car uh, i got all those silicone hoses on there and i have to get this car ready and prepared for the supercharger kit so in that process i still have the crank pin kit which i'm going to be doing next so you guys will probably see that coming next so i have to pin the crank this uh harmonic balancer on this uh car it doesn't have anything holding it it's just like a press fit um and, and it's a pin kit so it actually fixes the harmonic balancer to the crank and we need to do that because once we put the boost and supercharger on there it has to be able to like hold that and not spin we got jonathan metallica <laughs> what is that a metallica shirt <laughs> oh we haven't seen this guy in a while <laughs> well, i was wondering what the heck that thing is is that you now yeah, they give you a wrap job? Yeah, we got a new wrap job. Did you mess it up or what? What? No, I didn't do it. <laughs> Just a new look. You got too many skid marks on it or what? That's a thousand. Oh, bruised <laughs> banana. Okay, so we're going to get the crank pinned on that, like I mentioned. That'll be coming soon. And then we have to start getting ready for the supercharger install. So I have a whole host of things. This is all Viper stuff that we're going to need. And I'll start with this. So. You guys saw that we got the AEM Wideband O2 sensor and gauge, so I have that, and this has to get installed on the car, but we need something to put it into. So I don't know if I showed you guys, but I did order a two gauge pod that went on the A-pillar on the car, but I ended up ordering this, and just before I show you guys this, uh, well, maybe I should bring this with me, actually. If you look at this car, it's pretty, it has this pretty small cockpit. So I ended up getting the two pillar gauge pod, but by the time you put it on here, it was like sticking right here. It was like, not even exaggerating. It was like eight inches or so from your face. Like it was right here and your head's here. So it was, it kind of made the car feel claustrophobic. Not only that, but 
on this car. I don't know if you can see it or the camera can pick it up, but this pillar here actually has like kind of a rubberized coating on it and it's all one piece. And if I were to put that gauge pot on this, it would chip at this rubberized coating and wear it off. And I didn't really want to do that to that. So instead what I did was I picked up this from Autometer and this is just a single gauge pot that goes right on the top there and it's going to fit nicely right here between the two actual gauges and i think i'm just going to run the o2 sensor and the wideband o2 and just stick that one in there for now that's kind of the essential um i'm pretty much i did get a boost gauge you guys which you'll see here so i got one of these aem boost gauges same as we have for the dakota but the problem with this is i only have a single gauge pod right now and really since it's going to be supercharged application it's not going to be running any more boost than our pulleys allow so i could run this temporarily just to make sure that we're hitting the boost level and then disconnect it but um like i said this is kind of hard to you know have both there or i might take out one of the existing gauges and replace it with this a couple other small things i got this hose here these are all discontinued parts from mopar so this is going to replace a hose that goes under our intake manifold and then I had to get one of these new barbs uh, for our heater hose that goes to the uh, the thermostat housing. Mine's all kind of mangled looking. So when we replace the silicone hose going to that, we're gonna replace this as well. So a uh, bunch of stuff coming for that. And then if you're wondering what's in this white box, like I said, lots of parts, lots of stuff. I picked up this puppy. So this is an AEM water meth controller. So this is gonna control our water meth that we're gonna be spraying which is a pretty cool unit. It's brand new, somebody bought it and then didn't use it, which is kind of the deals I like to get and all the wiring for it here. So uh, the reason why I got this is because we have the row uh, water meth kit, but it's controlled by a controller that we're not running, which is the, I believe the VEC or whatnot. It's kind of like a old school piggyback that a lot of the Viper guys used to run, but um, we're not gonna be running that controller, which, so we need our own controller. So we're gonna be hooking that up. And I also bought uh, a windshield washer reservoir for this since mine doesn't have wipers and it was missing all that stuff and we're gonna tap into the bottom of it and that's gonna be our water meth reservoir for that so lots of stuff on the way you guys and lots to get done all right this might be the last time the dakota's ever seen <laughs> one piece ever again <laughs> you should have seen what i just did back oh there. my god <laughs> i showed him the tailgate how it was working better and he broke it oh look check out my shoes Boosted motorsports. Ooh, he's got Ooh. them boosted shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad the truck's not boosted. <laughs> <laughs> the back end's lit a little. Damn. John's over here being reckless in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we came to Mexico. <laughs> Some tacos. <laughs> That's three tacos right there. Yeah. come a long way but yeah like some some people were offering to like buy it off me now and i'm just <laughs> like no. they're like will you sell the dakota nope. no, 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 no. i know it, dude this thing it compared to how it was before i don't think i ever went nine, 90 kilometers <laughs> 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 today i did and it it felt really good yeah and then the steering it feels freaking tight so that's good we need to get some boost on there and then she'll are you sure about that? You remember what happened last time? No, I, I don't remember. Let's try it again. <laughs> We're going to the ghetto to get another engine. No, we got Jason's water. We'll just take his. 
All right, so we're just rearranging the garage. I'm gonna put this over here so that we can get ready to work on this. S2000 over there being moved and then Dakota's gonna go back here. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. So uh, Jonathan is over. We're gonna grill up some food and whatnot. Actually, maybe should we show some grilling? Maybe a bit more vlog? We might just keep vlogging. Should we just <laughs> yeah. keep vlogging with this? Oh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we're gonna grill up some food. We'll go grab some food, but uh, Viper's in here. Dakota's in here over there. If you guys remember, we were just laughing. Last time you guys probably saw the Dakota really here was when me and John gave up on it. We <laughs> <laughs> we put it in timeout in the corner for like two months. <laughs> it, it was literally stuffed in this corner for like two months when it was blown up, but she looks good, boys. And I think Jonathan approves now. I really like it. Just don't let him touch anything or he'll break it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go get some food. We'll see what else we get into. I will show you guys quickly this gauge pod though, because I think I kind of showed it to you guys in the bag, but not outside. So it's, this is an auto meter one. And once we get into the install, I can link it for you guys, or I can link it for you guys now in this video, but it's the same smooth, it doesn't have a texture to it, which the rest of the car doesn't. So it's kind of nice they went along with that. But the only thing with these things, they usually just sit on top of everything. They don't actually like screw into it. So it uses the existing one and kind of just plunks itself on top so um, I saw some double-sided tape in there along with some clips so probably not gonna drill through the original one although I might have to I don't know we'll see I might source out depending on where my wires come out I might source out another lid since it's the same as it's literally the same as the Dakota if you guys look so it has the same cap as the Dakota except I have my thing on there so that'll fit right over top just like that will so I could honestly just get a Dakota one and it would be the same thing if I want to save my Viper one. Things are getting serious around here. Okay, he's got some carne asada from the deli. Shout out he, to he's, Sam, the cooking guy. He's watching a YouTube video on how to cook because John doesn't know how to cook. He only knows how to wear Metallica shirts. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> then we've got shrimp fully peeled with the tail off and he's trying to figure out how to cook and what else we need. No, not how to cook. It's what ingredients oh he needs the recipe he said he's done this before yeah this one's really good so the guard we're gonna see what else we need steak look that's john you can oh, see metallica okay. shirt in the background <laughs> 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 what are you trying to get right now guac yeah no this fake, is good fake Ooh. guac Ooh. fake guac but it's easier than making it true we need ice we cream need some Oh, well, we do need Rona. No, we, we don't need Rona. We, we need Corona. Oh, okay, yeah. Good thing you fixed that one. And we've got, what else we got? The, we need the tortillas. We've got beers. We got Doritos. Doritos. Do you say Doritos like Doritos? Doritos. Do you? You no, say Doritos. You say Doritos? Yeah. Right. Say it how you mean it. Doritos. You don't say Darito? Hey, pass the Doritos. <laughs> what do you say? Darito. Pass me the Doritos, eh? <laughs> I try to make it make it sound more authentic. I say Darito. <laughs> we got our tortillas. We got this, that, that. Shrimp. That's pretty much it. That's it? That's your recipe? What else do yeah. you put in there? You what put an onion? I, I kind of want some like I have cabbage. A... Cabbage? Like, yeah, that's what you put in surf and surf, right? I don't know. I think so. I think it should be fine. All right, you think we got what we need? Yeah. Let's do. Okay, we out, we out. We got all our stuff. The guy said that it should be good, so we'll see. That guy didn't know nothing. He thought we needed a bag for four things. <laughs> damn, damn millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Want a waste a plastic bag? The only bag he needs is the one between his legs that he doesn't have. Ooh. <laughs> Mega oof. <laughs> Mega oof. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get in friggin' John's friggin' banana mobile over here. <laughs> it runs better than any of the cars you have. Yeah, shots fired. Why is it blue on this side? Because AC, heating and cooling. It's still hot. Heating and cooling. He's got yellow and blue on this side. All of a sudden, it turns into a fireball on this side. Got me on shrimp duty over here. We're using Cajun and some garlic salt. So we'll see how that comes out. What do you got going on? We've got carne sosada. So sad. Oh, look at that. All burnt. Mm. It's not burnt. It's <laughs> he likes his well done. <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta keep it. 
medium rare. Ooh, that smells really, good. No, it smells really good. Yeah, it's gonna be legit. It's gonna be good. Can't wait. Yeah, you guys might think this is funny, but I learned this little trick at a Korean barbecue. They use really sharp food grade scissors to strip the meat. Meat's good. Yeah, I'm show, showing YouTube how to oh. cut the meat. I think you laughed when you first saw this, yeah. didn't you? Are you surfing or turfing? That's some raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we got. So we got the carne sosada, and we got the shrimp. This is what he was grilling up. You guys probably saw it. This is his shrimp. What kind of flavor? How did it turn so orange? What kind of. Are oh, you got Cajun in there? What do you got going on in there? We gotta throw it up in here, and then we're gonna put some guacamole in there, and that's that's a wrap. You're not putting any sauce in there. I think we should. There's no sauce you want in there. Sure? What kind of Mexican dish is this? Where are you from again? <laughs> Don't oh, tell them. The border. <laughs> He's from Michigan with that Metallica <laughs> shirt. <laughs> he, can't, he can't even make a burrito. <laughs> Woo! Legit. Let's go. Not bad. Now that we got Frank's on here, just so you know, John never would eat Frank's hot sauce until uh, until he started coming over here. He was like, No, 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 mustard. It's too, mustard. It's it's too vinegar. You said the same thing about bold. No, mustard. You know mustard is mostly vinegar, right? No, mustard's good now. And now you said Frank's is good too, though. No, Frank's is not that good. I saw you reach for that Frank's. No, I reached for this one. You put Frank's on there. <laughs> yeah, don't lie. You're trying to lie to YouTube. You didn't get me on camera. Damn. See, he even left the lid open. That was him. Ooh. <laughs> He's running away. Okay, guys. So we're eating food. John has blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know all this. <laughs> We're watching motocross. So if you guys are motocross fans, leave a comment down below or Supercross or Grand Theft Auto 5 because we play that too on the PlayStation. Let me know. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. It's pretty much late here. We're just going to finish eating and that's kind of just an average day here. So uh, I'll try to do more of this stuff or let me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff. And uh, also one last thing, me and John were talking. Would you guys be interested in doing like some sort of giveaway vehicle? Uh, maybe we'll do like a Dakota, we'll do like a, like a mild build on one. Nothing too crazy or too expensive, but just maybe to get the ball rolling. Maybe like, I don't know, I'll buy like a thousand or $1,500 truck and um, maybe we'll do something where like if you buy some merch, you get like an entry, like same way everybody else is doing it. Let me know what you guys think of that down below. Maybe we'll try to get something like that going. But if you like this video and the style content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. See you on the next one.